Uh, it is 5.21 in the a.m. It's Monday. We are at the gym. We're about to do some lower body. Well, we're just about to actually do squats and deadlift. We are tattooing today. The lookbook is finished today. Uh, been going up for friends and family. It's a little organization and there's a podcast. First and foremost, I get this motherfucking workout in. Whoo! Workout done. It's actually fucking cold as shit today in Vegas. I mean, it's 43 outside right now. It's pretty cold for Vegas, I say. Our chi race. We talked to God for a second via the struggle of picking up weight off the ground. And now we're gonna go home and cook and probably try to help clean the kitchen. You know, there needs to be a self-cleaning kitchen. It's 2020, and the fact that there is no self-cleaning kitchen available for purchase is just fucking ridiculous you know i know what gym shark is i, I hear i see it around I know. well basically like there's a lot of people at the gym who wear gym shark i don't know if you can just buy gym shark stuff or if that means you're a gym shark athlete i think they should keep it exclusive so that when you see someone in a gym shark you're like oh shit you're a pro you're up yeah <laughs> of course i'm up it's cold in here it's cold outside it feels good in here how's the gym good uh, not really. So we have tattoo at 10. Anya and Sakura. Air frying. We've been using the air fryer like a motherfucker. Foodie Ninja. This thing is amazing. Someone asked if I use the grill still, the meat grill. I do. Almost every day. Unless it's windy as fuck. And the last two days it's been super windy. This thing is coming so goddamn clutch. It makes some of the juiciest air fried chicken we've ever had. We got rice on deck just for it's easy. Every time I've attempted to make Greg Doucette's protein cookie after the first time, they failed. I don't know what the fuck I did different the first time. My theory is that I used Pam coconut oil the first time, the olive oil the next time. That's the only thing I can think of. Gotta check this temp on this chicken. Oh yeah, we're gonna be good. Lavash rice. Guac and sriracha. Fucking Ted Potley up in this bitch, son. Fuck with Chipotle. I made it too crispy. There's like a fine line. I like it really crispy, but it won't fold. Wonder if you crisp it a little bit, <coughs> fold it, and then crisp it more. Mmm, that's smart. <laughs> it's Tuesday. It's a little later than normal. It's eight o'clock. I've been up for a while. I had to, um, well, first I'm trying to drop the lookbook, but I'm waiting on scrub. So, but also trying to organize this other shit. It's like really, I just took a bite of rice, you know? It's, it's really complicated, or it's like a lot to juggle, like early in the morning, or just, or, or any, at any time, really. Uh, I have not even eaten yet, other than the bite of rice I just took. So I'm gonna eat, and then I need to go to the gym. I'm a little tired today, but I also, I slept in. I took a really big dab this morning, so I don't know if I'm really actually tired or if I'm just kind of stoned and moving slow, which is probably the case, but uh, I'm gonna make myself a breakfast. And then the rest of this week is just working on paintings because the drop will be live. That'll be knocked off of our list of things to do. And then I need to call about Jay today. And we also just need to work on paintings. That's where we're at. We're getting good. We're making progress. Kind of one thing at a time. You know what I'm saying? The problems are overwhelming you one thing at a time. When you bake a cake, what do you do? One ingredient at a motherfucking time. That's how you get through it, dog. One at a time. One day, one hour, one minute at a motherfucking time. All right, I gotta eat. I'm starting. Ah, uh, your boy. You going to walk? Uh-huh. It's okay, you can take a nap. You take a nap, I'll make breakfast. Yeah. You getting a haircut today? Yes, you are. Haircut. Watch out, watch out, watch out. It is a, uh, it's a lot later. I am dragging ass today, but it's okay. Cause I got most of my work done other than painting, but I'm going to the gym now. It's actually 12, it's after 12. Uh, yeah. I found, I found the Omar oh, on the way home from the gym. Huh? <laughs> Alex is about to take Omar. That's the only reason I have him. You're about to go on a trip, but you didn't need to go on it. Come here. Hey, give me this. Hey, hey. Okay, you're free. You're free. Vaporwave off. Food, 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 food. I picked up some different protein last night. Ghost protein because of the branding. 100% picked up because of the branding and it's literally made right down the street. 
Literally, I can walk there. Uh, we actually just drove right by it. But, food, chicken, rice, easy. Mixing it up, putting some cheese on it, microwaving that bitch, and eating it the fuck up right now. You look so different. Come here, let me see your necklace. Let me see your necklace. You're not getting up? No? What is mm. he asking you, Abner? Can I see your necklace? Oh, that's, that's a good one. Abner, come here. Don't your necklace. Don't help me. Oh, dang. Is it the, oh, I thought it was the card suits. <laughs> oh, wait, is it? Is it a carrot? What is no, it? No, it's, it's fall leaves. Oh, I thought it was going to be the card suits. Omar is still chilling. Who knows? I got cool head. Those are my headphones. Finished the fucking lookbook. It's finally live and I'm cooking. Dude, we still have a thousand goddamn calories to eat <laughs> after this. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm not mad about it. Maybe. Good morning, universe, world. Going on a dog walk. Somebody's. Well, in a minute, I. Somebody's dragging. I'm not ass. ready. I asked you when to go and you're like, right now. We're clicking on all cylinders, girl. We're clicking. It's a rest day. We're going to go try to ride our bike later, even though. It's cold as fuck. It is. It's only 46 degrees right now. Yeah, I'm gonna want to go outside. Don't take your friend outside. He doesn't want to go. You don't need to go either. We're gonna go in a minute. Of course, if you know Alex, it's probably gonna be a while. He's like, it ain't gonna be a minute. What's happening? I just got. I'm over here. I'm over here just drawing. <laughs> Gotta get some sketches done. For being a turd. Uh, yeah. Cause today I'm painting pretty much all day. Well, I'm gonna go and get a fucking cast iron skillet, a small one, because I want to make this brownie, protein brownie, that is. So yeah, I just, I'm gonna, yeah, what I said. Hey, relax, come on. You don't need it, come on. Oh, that's his tree. Bro, these geese squatted the fuck up. They said, fuck y'all. They said, fuck your country club, bitch. We're here, here to stay. We ain't going nowhere. Hold the block down, son. These motherfuckers are hugging the block. Okay. We'll take it right here, so you better pay the toll. <laughs> they don't give a fuck. That one's right in the street, homie. What are you doing? You're about to get rocked, son. You better go home. You're laying in the street. That one's laying in the street. What the fuck? It's fucking jumping in his target right now, but they got Miss Elizabeth, the wrestler dog. I like coming to the toy sex just to see what just to see what the youth is being offered in the way of entertainment in the physical realm. Speaking of the youth of America. We also have the Fortnite collection of Nerf. There is a fucking sniper rifle for Fortnite. What the fuck? Vigilante fucking Republican versus Democrat. I don't even know what this is. I'm assuming these are the axes. Jesus Christ. I'm basically just an old man now uh, walking around the target. I was waving my fist at the air. So I'm gonna go find my cast iron skillet and get the fuck out of here. So I went to target and I bought way more stuff than I was supposed to buy. I only went for this cast iron skillet. This isn't even the right size fucking skillet that I need. I need a six and a half inch. I took a dab and then I went alone. So I ended up buying all this massage stuff that we probably don't need. I bought this pizza thing, this thing we don't. <laughs> Whatever. I bought stuff that I didn't go for. But now Alex has suggested I go to Williams Sonoma. I had can find a six and a half. Online. We could just call. I said you have to come with me because if I go to Williams Sonoma alone, we're gonna be in trouble. I need someone to stop me. You calling? What are you doing? Get that ball. Get that ball. Get out of here. I don't want it. Mission averted. Yeah, mission averted. We decided to order the six and a half online, but I'm gonna go ahead and try it with eight inch. I'm not scared of these eight inches, you know what I'm saying? This uh, ghost protein, it might not taste the best. I'm not sure yet. I'm still taste testing it, but the scoop suspended in space is like the best. And for some reason, the uh, laser etched top makes me want to use it more. I don't know why. Hundred and sixty-seven calories, forty-five grams of carbs, eleven grams of fat, and forty-seven grams of protein. It's nothing to be mad about. We eat this whole fucking thing. I'm gonna serve this upside down because if we don't, it's going to fall apart. Upside down brownie. Let's see what we got. It's a big ass bite, Teddy. I'm so hungry right now. Oh, dude, it's slamming, slamming. Mmm. Oh, it's so good. Boo, take a bite. Oh, it's fast. You made that fast. It's upside down because I didn't want to flip it back over and ruin it. Was it like really hot? It's warm. It's like a souffle style almost. 
No, it's amazing. Yeah, it's good, huh? It's really good. About to use my mom. What? What? Hey! Fucking up my macros, girl. I'm just making it fair at face. Fucking up my game. All right, brownie. I'm gonna eat this. Go on a bike ride. It's that time. Bike ride time. Dragging ass a little bit. Eight or, eight or so miles. Nothing crazy. It's Veterans Day. There's a lot of people out there. You mad at me? You mad at me for putting stuff on your nose? Yeah? Get over it. Which means I need to get the fuck out of here. Why does this feel warm? Oh, it's the heat. <laughs> it's the heat. This today, so today's PS5 day, I guess. That's what the people are calling. That's what dorks on the internet are calling the day when uh, the PS5 drops. But I'm gonna keep it consistent with my energy on the PS5. Working out is over. Lunch, breakfast, whatever, second meal of the day is basically over. Drawing and painting. Tattoos this weekend. And uh, that's pretty much it. The only other thing going on is uh, I can bitch about, well, I can bitch about a few things. Hold on, more first thing. All right, my first uh, protein review. This is Ghost Protein. I, uh, this is the first time I've tried it. I have had uh, quite a bit of it, not all, I mean. There's still quite a bit left, but I've had quite a few servings. And inside the brownie, it was great. I haven't had my regular protein, which is metabolic drive, which I'll have more today. I think I'm out, pretty much out, but I have the bag still. The metabolic drive versus the ghost, taste-wise, Metabolic Drive crushes. This ghost tastes just like, to me, just, it's been a long time since I had it, but it's got a very similar flavor to the Gold Way On, I think it's On Way, whatever. The shit that GNC sells, basically. And I got this at GNC too, but yeah, I don't, this flavor of milk chocolate versus milk chocolate, so it's even. It just has a different taste. This, I mean, this should have been, I literally have been drinking this off and on for this not my favorite this company is local so i'm sorry uh but they also have a bunch of different flavors so i'm willing to give some of their other flavors a shot because they have like a chips ahoy and a nutter butter and all this other stuff but i haven't tried it macro wise the breakdown is pretty similar this metabolic drive is 110 calories one gram of fat four carbs 21 grams of protein per serving 30 grams this is 35 grams which is 130 calories 1.5 grams of fat four carbohydrates at five grams of protein no shit i love this and the only place i've ever been able to find it is online i don't know if they sell it in other places but i love this shit this i will finish for sure um but other than that the only other thing that i've like i'm not mad when you comment on sports or when you comment on shoes or politics or, well you're probably mad about politics but when you comment on the things around you you probably don't think you're mad you know you're just commenting when i comment on things around me people get the opportunity to say that I'm mad. I'm not mad. This vlog has seen me mad. I don't really know if you've ever actually seen me like super mad. One day you'll see me mad, maybe. And then you'll be like, oh shit, Teddy's actually mad now. You'll see me frustrated. And what I am is I'm definitely frustrated with, even though it doesn't affect me in any way, I am surrounded by a lot of people who resell. I have friends who resell. Well, we're going through a pandemic. We just went through this election. Things are annoying as far as everyone pretending that we're in this together and everyone acting like they give a fuck about their neighbor and you know people urging you to go out and vote for all of mankind and then every holiday season things like black friday exists and also the 
price gouging of popular electronics. Almost every fucking year, or at least every cycle, every time a new PlayStation or Xbox drops, same thing with sneakers, and it's because sneaker resellers have now, like a cancer, infected every fucking aspect of life. The holidays is normal for these fucks, but still, it's gotten to the point that it's annoying. And seeing comments online all the time now, like I follow a lot of resellers, I guess, from the sneaker world, and a lot of these people I like, like I have no problem with them personally. People are bragging about how much money they're gonna make ripping people off, because I don't give a fuck how you describe. You can chalk it up to yourself as supply and demand. That's not supply and demand. You're you're getting in the way of supply and demand. You don't want the item, but you're gonna get to the item first so that other people, if they want it, have to pay you a premium and you did nothing. Except for compete with other people who are also trying to get it, which makes you feel like you had an e like there was an effort put into it because there's just so many people who need this to make money, you know? And I get it, but it doesn't mean that it doesn't bum me out that that's what people wanna do or have to do to make money. It also really bums me out that there's people out there that can't live without a fucking video game system or can't look at the PS5 and the Xbox and look at the specs and go, I should get a PC. Or look at it and be like, there's no good games. Like, these games are boring. And maybe that's just my super, super, super duper taste level. Probably so. Yeah. So I get annoyed with people who have a taste level that I feel like is below mine. I don't know how to, I don't know why. Well, it's annoying for a reseller to make a comment about how people should just deal with it and that they're entitled to do this. And then when you comment back and be like, actually, you're just kind of a dick. If you're cool with making money however you get money, then you also should be cool with being called a fucking dick. I don't understand how it's not a dickheadish thing. It is a dickheadish thing. Like you're charging a most likely a parent extra money who is just trying to fulfill some fucking weird thing for their child under the context of Jesus' birthday and the fact that as a society we only care about monetary things. Now I'm not saying that this fucking parent and this kid shouldn't be educated too and be like, yeah, we don't fuck with that shit. We're of a different mentality. Let's go do something that actually matters with our life. I'm not saying they shouldn't. The two, two wrongs don't make it right. You know what I'm saying? Both parties are fucking ridiculous. Why can't there just be normal commerce? Like why can't people just go buy the shit that they want to use instead of having to worry about people who really, really really aren't offering anything to the world. Like as a reseller, you're not really giving to the world. You are taking from people. You are constantly taking from people. So it is going to start to bother me as someone who is really just trying to give. I get money for the things that I sell, but I make the things that I sell. I make them from fucking thin air most of the time. It has become very annoying. I definitely am going to comment on it when I see it. And um, you know, people wanted me to be an influencer when I was smoking weed and when I do all these other things or when I curse or when I talk about not voting or anything like that. People are like, Teddy, you gotta think about the kids, man. You can't be, you can't be out here saying saying all this wild shit because these kids are impressionable. Well, then I want to be the person who, who is getting you to not fucking partake in the foolery of making a little bit of money by taking advantage of people and situations and learning how to network. You know, when a reseller walks out of the room, the only other people who respect the reseller are other resellers. My advice for most people is to work on your fucking craft. If you don't have a craft, find a craft. You don't want to work on a craft, you have no motivation in life. I don't know, find some fucking motivation in life. I definitely am not and cannot just sit around silent and say, nothing when every holiday season when this shit goes on. Both parties on both sides are annoying. One side's a little more moronic because you're actually paying these dipshits. I mean, I just urge you, if you're gonna pay resell for an item, just go on Twitter and type in that item and look at the type of people reselling this shit. Do you wanna give your money to some of these annoying fuck? Just read their tweets. They're entitled little twats. You wanna give them more money so they can continue to be entitled little twats? No, you don't. Just wait, dog. There's nothing in this world that you really need that bad that you can't fucking just wait. The only time I've ever paid resale in my life is when the fucking, it served me to pay resale because I made videos about the item and I also got paid $5,000 a month to buy shoes. So thank you StockX, who also is selling PlayStation 5s now. And now I feel like a fucking sucker for helping them get to a place where it's basically just a fucking free for all for anything. The sneaker game is the sneaker game and when people get into that, they know what they're getting into. That's completely fucking different than any and everything that's not bolted down being fucking flipped. Feel bad for fucking humanity. It doesn't make me just feel bad for the individuals. It's like, goddamn, people have literally like no 
purpose in life like what are we doing like what is your purpose like what are you doing here what is your mission what what are you going to accomplish while you're here just resell shit if this was star wars what character would you be you're one of them fucks in the bar you're one of them gremlin looking fucks in the bar you're one of them dudes reselling fucking parts looking for credits and whatever the fuck they sell eating fucking using star wars for money motherfuckers on that note i'm gonna make some art <laughs>